1985, I interviewed for a job at EMC for a district manager position. And my interview, it was, it was to run the whole district, so my interview had to go through Dick Egan, who was the E of EMC and the president and CEO of the, the company. This was early on in EMC's uh, existence, and I was going to be employee number 56. So Dick was doing a lot of the interviewing. So I flew up from Atlanta up to uh, Massachusetts to their corporate office and went to their headquarters. I waited in the reception area and started, before my interview, and started chatting with uh, the woman there who was uh, Dick's receptionist. And we had a, a really nice conversation and we chatted quite a bit and it, it just went really well. And she was very, uh, very cordial, very polite. We got along great. After a while, she says, okay, uh, he's ready to see you now. I went in and had the interview with Dick and it went, it went really well. And I left and said goodbye and said goodbye to his receptionist. What I didn't know at that time was that Dick's receptionist was also his wife. When you go on an interview and you meet the receptionist, you never know what their relationship is to the person you're interviewing. And it turned out in this case, it was his wife. Do you think that if I had been rude or standoffish or anything like that to Dick's receptionist slash wife, I would have gotten the job? I don't think so. I could have, I could hear the conversation already. You know, that guy was really rude. I hope you're not going to consider him for the district manager position. So just remember, with anybody, just be polite, be nice, be cordial, ask questions to them, learn about them. It'll pay you dividends in your interview and with everything else that you do. This was a real eye-opening story for me, and I hope it's one for you.